Okay, all praises be to the Most High, Ahiah, in the name of Yeshua. Of course, we are the gathering of Christ's church here before you this Sabbath. And we're going to go into a detailed lesson, uh, a well overdue lesson. Okay, we're, we are ahead of schedule on the 12 tribes. So we're going to forego some of those until next week. We're going to go into some of the, uh, the tribes uh, over in Australia which is uh, Naphtali, I mean Reuben, excuse me, Reuben, Reuben over in uh, Australia. And along with Reuben, we're going to cover Asher in South America. So next week, we're going to cover Reuben and Asher. We're almost done, the 12 tribes already, so we went through it. And we are ahead of time on that, so that's a good it's a good opportunity for me to bring something, an important topic through the Spirit of the Most High. And this scripture is, I mean, well, this lesson will be called The Spiritual Attack Against Family. Okay? The Spiritual Attack Against Family. And the side of my agenda. <clears throat> Now, you're probably wondering what one have to do with the other. I'm going to show you. Now, we're going to be using some of the scriptures that you can actually get from the website, gatheringofchrist.org, under the, uh, you just type in search on our gatheringofchrist.org, understanding marriage, and the whole document will come up. Now, before I go into this, Keep in mind that we're being bombarded through Hollywood, I'm going to bring up some of those, through media, through mainstream publications, the what they would call the homosexual agenda, man on man, woman on woman. Uh, we, we're getting bombarded with what you would call LBGT agendas throughout education, media, you name it. And usually when it's being pushed, it's being pushed as something that should be accepted, something that's happy or what they term gay. Keep in mind that behavior was named gay on purpose as a total spin to make you believe this is the example of being what? Happy. Gay means happy. So you're unhappy if you're not gay. Gay means happy. So it was a plan from the beginning and an attack. Now most people look at it, you look at it, now there's many ways they're spinning this. They're spinning this as some type of political stance of civil rights to have the right to marry, to have the, the right not to be discriminated against. To have, it's, a, it's all about rights. Right? But really, what they're doing and what they're bringing forth has nothing to do with their rights. No one has been trampling on their rights. Let's make it clear. Well, they, I mean, I know I went through bullying. There's no people in the earth that didn't go through some level of someone thinking that someone, no matter who you are, people have picked on you. It doesn't have nothing to do with your, what you would call sexual preference. You just have bad people bullying people. Right? So they try to put it under bullying and all these other things, but really, it's an attack, not a just against marriage. I'm going to go into that, the truth about marriage. It's an attack against the image of the Most High God Himself. The agenda stands well beyond our realm, what, they, what they're looking to attack. Okay, they're looking to attack the image of male and female, which is the image of the Most High. They're looking to do away with that altogether. They minimized it first by started calling male and female, and they started moving it into uh, uh, the scientific side opposed to the spiritual side of things. You understand? And they started using words like gender. Let me show you how we, how they have actually done this 
through what you would call a slow acclimation to get society to accept this as normal. But first of all, even though it seems as if we as brothers and sisters have been acclimated into accepting this, that's programming also. When I say accepting this, accepting homosexual behavior as normal family or normal people or normal behavior. That's a trick also. To make us believe this is a new way. This is that now we have evolved into a new time and being straight and having family is just passe or old. That was a trick also. This behavior has always existed under every satanic rule. And at the height of every evil society before the society was destroyed, homosexuality or sodomite behavior overall was at its height to the point where it began to push upon the creation of the Most High. Now when we say the creation of the Most High, male and female have a power together. And their power is to what? Bring forth life. That's a spiritual phenomenon to have someone appear out of the invisible. But it can only happen through male and female. Now, if you're pushing an agenda to stop that from happening, the attack is not only on the most high and family and male and female, it's, attack on, it's an attack on what? Life itself. So that's one of the greatest tools these world, this world power under Satan is using to bring forth a depopulation program. It's anti-life. So we want to go into this in its full extent. But then we are actually going to go in and on our side what we need to do going forward to protect the image of the Most High within us. To protect our family. Because eventually, eventually, every brother and sister that's following this Bible will be Lot and Lot's wife. In Lot's house with Lot's children. Every one, every brother or sister that's in the truth that's following the Bible will be Lot. In which the whole system and government and power will be aimed towards destroying you because you understand what their true agenda is. And you have the power to expose it and destroy it. So eventually, they will have a physical agenda on destroying or, or, or jailing or imprisoning those who don't agree. So what must we do understanding that now they are at the pinnacle of every influential government position of influence in the earth. How must we be? And understanding that this is a war. It's not about them being able to marry each other. This is a war against everything the Bible stands for. Let's start off with what family is. Because family didn't start here on earth. Let's go to the beginning. We're going to use the Old and New Testament dealing with family. Now one thing about the Bible, why the greatest attack with the homosexuals is against the Bible or trying to prove the Bible is wrong. Why? Because every other religion accepts this behavior. And I know some people might say, well, Muslims, they don't accept it. Let me tell you, if you've ever been around Arab countries and see how they operate and what's going on with them, it's a facade what they're teaching in the mosque. Homosexuality is rampant all throughout the Middle East. It's a facade. The attack is against the Bible because the Bible have laws, do's and don'ts. To preserve life. Don't forget, the Most High gave us the law, Israel the law, so that we can live, so that life could be preserved. That was the whole point of it. So life could be 
preserved. Let's go into the image of the Most High real quick. Yes, sir. This is Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Read. And God said, let us make man in our image. He says, let us make man in our image. So obviously man was made in the similitude of the heavenly family. See that? Let us make man in our image. Now who is this us? Obviously it's more than one. Who bear record from the beginning? Who's this us making man in his image? Let's go to a precept. 1 John 5 and 7. The image of the Most High. Now, 1 John is right next to Revelations. In the back. 1 John 5 and 7. Read it. 1 John chapter 5, verse 7. Read. For there are three that bear record in heaven. There are three that bear record in heaven. Now you know who the us is in the book of Genesis, the first chapter. Let us make man in our image. Now when you see that word us, it's a plural word, Allah Or the modern day Yiddish pronunciation is Elohim, which is plural or gods. So who are the gods that said, let us make man in our image? Let's see. For there are three that bear record in heaven. There are three that bear record in heaven. The Father. The Father is the male. The Word. The Word is the light that came from male and female. Read. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is female. I'm going to prove this. So there was a heavenly family. Male, which is the Father, the Holy Spirit, which is what you would call the uh, uh, similitude or the feminine that came out of the Father, male and female, that brought forth the Word, which is life. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Read. And these three are one. And these three are one. So it says... There's three that bear record. Now, in order for one to bear record, they have to be there from what? From the beginning. <laughs> That's why we went back to Genesis to show you where families started. They were the witnesses in the beginning, and that's why the Most High put in the law that everything be established before two or more witnesses. Because they bear record from the beginning. The witness of all creation. Male and female. I'm going to show you when it says, let us make man in our image. So what did the Most High make? Let's go back to Genesis now. Uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Read. And the power said. And the power of the Allah Hayim, because we know it's just not one God now. It's three bearing record. Say what? Let us. Let make, us make man in our image. Make man in our image, read. After our likeness. After our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air. So this creation would have dominion on earth like it is in heaven, right? Because we know male and female rules from the heavenly realm. I'm, I'm going to show you that. So, so if Satan is against the Most High and he gained dominion over this earth, he would push what? He would push same what you would call sex activity. A total, a total blatant agenda against the image of the Most High and the family that was created to, to have rule from the beginning. Read. And over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So now, he had man who would have dominion over all what? The creatures. Right? Read. Verse 27. So the power, or God, created man in his own image. In his own image.